Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create classic Vox style building slice animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So here inside the Fusion page, we are going to be uh, using an image and I have an image over here of uh, the capital, right? So now what you have to do is separate each of these sections into different um, nodes so for example I have this one over here I can rename this to maybe like bottom I can just use the mask tool to um, you know create a selection around of this uh, I'm gonna do this real quick um, of this section over here and if I just enable this again and this is my uh, the bottom section of the image then I can copy and paste another uh, instance of it or another version of it and this will be the middle part and again using the polygon mask tool I can um, select this um, section over here if you view this yeah, of course it's gonna look like crap but take your time and you can do this uh, right inside of fusion but what I will do is or what I already have done is I've created a selection inside of affinity photo as you can see I have this uh, uh, separated as different layers this is the bottom this is the middle and this is the top part of that building and then I exported this as a PSD file and I have selected this preset over here Final Cut Pro X and just export this file and back inside of Fusion you can go to Fusion at the top import and choose PSD and just find that file and just import it inside of fusion so if you take a look at this last node which is this normal 2 which basically is a merge node uh, if you take a look at this you can see all of our layers are intact but now if you click on this very first node which is the background node you can see that in the inspector we're not able to change the settings of this node so let's just get rid of this delete it and drag in a new background node and connect it to this uh, normal node which is basically a merge node and in the background we'll set the alpha all the way down to zero so now the next thing we'll do is let's just make some room over here and after this node we'll just hit shift spacebar and type in cc for color correction or color corrector click on add and we will just remove or reduce the saturation and increase the contrast a little bit and we will copy this node hit ctrl c and select this second node over here which is the middle uh, part of our image I'm gonna hit ctrl shift V this will paste the instance of the color corrector and do the same thing with this node at the bottom ctrl shift V um, so now you can see that we had different brightness levels in this image and the easiest way to fix this is by going into the color corrector go to options you can go to any of these uh, nodes the color corrector nodes and Go to options and click on pre divide post multiply. Make sure this is checked. So now your image will be all black and white. Great. So now, after the color corrector, we will add in our transform. Type in XF, click on add, and we will create our animation. So let's go to frame 30 and create a keyframe on center X and Y. Let's go back to frame 0 and then I'm going to bring it down until this image or, or this part disappears, like so. And I can copy this transform and paste it after this instance color corrector just have to paste in normally just hit ctrl V on the keyboard to paste it normally and do the same thing with the third node as well paste it so now let's go to the second transform over here and make sure you're at the very first frame because right now if you take a look at the final normal 2 which is a merge if you scrub through you can see that we have this animation but we want the middle part to disappear from the very first frame right so in the transform we will go to center x and y and just move it down like so so it disappears completely and do the same thing with the last transform over here move it down till it disappears completely like so and if you play the animation it will look something like this now i'm going to select these three nodes the transform nodes and i'm i'll open up spline the spline window and click on this three dot menu and make sure show only selected tool is checked and now you just check all these three transform nodes 
and you can click on this icon that says zoom to fit to see the graph and then I'm going to click on this icon to that says select all right click and go to ease and open up the easing function dialog box and here we'll change the preset to outback cubic and we'll increase the out to one and click on okay so now if you play the animations it looks something like this you'll have this simple bounce animation in the image uh, great so now what we will do is we want to fill in this gap with a uh, with a shape um, so let's just do that so what you can do is after the color corrector uh, we will add in a background node so we have to only do this on the middle part of the building and on the top part of the building so let's just make some room over here and after the instance color corrector we will add in this background click it click on it this will add in a merge one so we'll just move it somewhere over here and on this background too we will change the color and make it yellow click on ok and we will also add in a rectangle or an ellipse mask sorry just connect that to this background and just change the width and the height and just try and position it under the middle of this building so just zoom into this and change the position and you know try and position this properly right something like this and then you can notice that the image or the shape is uh, on top of the image so what we can do is on the merge one over here we will go to operator and set that to under so now it will be under the image and we will repeat this process for the image uh, or for the part which is which is this uh, part of the building right so let's just after this instance add in a background or you can just copy the, these two nodes and paste it down below and connect it to this instance color this will result in another merge so all we have to do is go to ellipse over here and just move it up like so and then change the width something like that and let's just zoom in and be precise with this and you can change the position and all that stuff and now in the merge 2 we will go to operator set that to under so it'll be under the image um, so now you will also notice if I scrub through you can see that the building or the middle and the top part is coming in front of the bottom part uh, we want it to be under or behind this uh, bottom part of the image so we will do the same thing as we did earlier with this merge we go to this normal one over here and change the operator to under you can see that it will go under uh, the bottom part of the building and do the same thing with normal two uh, change the operator to under right so if you play the animation it looks something like this um, now you can see that if you zoom in you have a little bit of this yellow so we can go to this normal two over here and just change the center x a little bit so that we don't have that anymore let's just change the timing of these images that are appearing so what i want to do is i want uh, the top part of the building to appear before the middle part so i'll just go to the transform over here go to keyframes and i'll just expand that and i will just move these keyframes and make sure that it starts from frame 10 and then i will select the second transform over here click on it and i'm going to make sure that these keyframes start from frame 20. so now you'll see that the top part of the building will appear first and then it will be followed by the middle part of the building all right so you'll have an animation like this you can animate the size property as well but i'll just leave that for now it's quite easy just have keyframe the size over here what i want to do next is we will add in a transform so type in xf add in a transform and i'll just scale it down like so and you'll have this animation 
the same animation but as you can see we can see the layers already from the very first frame so we want to fix this um, let's just after this transform add in a background real quick so let's just add in a background and I'll just change the background color as well so let's just change that to something else take a look at this merge 3 uh, you won't be able to see anything that's because we have to swap the inputs background with the foreground so right click on the merge 3 click on swap inputs so now you'll be able to see the image now what we will do is add in a rectangle mask and we will add this on this merge 3 so uh, connect that like so and I'll just increase the width and the height and we will just place it right we'll place the bottom of this rectangle right at the bottom edge of our image as you can see right over here and you can just be precise with this so we'll have something like this uh, but still we can see these images over here and the way to fix this is by changing the global in and global out value so if you scrub through you can um, see that this is the frame where uh, we see the image behind the building which is frame 14 and uh, we will just select that top layer and in the global in we'll type in 14 over here right so now if you scrub again you can see that that layer is not visible it will only be visible from frame 14 like that and you have to do the same thing with the other um, layer or the other node as well so scrub forward and this is the frame where it is behind this building which is frame 26 so i'm going to go to that node which is this middle node and i'm going to type in 26 as global n all right so if you take a look at this animation take a look at this most three you'll have something like this cool so then finally you can add in a stop motion to this and set the frame repeat to three and connect it to this media out and you will have your final animation ready so that is pretty much it that's how easy it is to create this vox slice building effect inside of davinci resolve i hope this video was helpful i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.